Following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here where we were trying to sketch this graph and um, it could look something like this. It could look, oh, where there, it could look something like this. And uh, it could look something like, oops, it could look something like this. So um, to determine if it truly, if it will truly do this or this, we need to look at the gradient. So, so use the uh, use the quotient rule and differentiate this. So when you differentiate it, it will give you this. So now by using this, we can determine if the graph will will or will not do this, will or will not do this. So look at um, look at the gradient, look look at the gradient, and uh, and it will give you more insight into the actual graph. So. Um, if, if, if the graph truly does this, then we know that there are many points when the gradient would be zero. It would be zero here, it would be zero here, it would be zero here. So let's look at this and find out where on the graph the gradient would be zero. So, um, so put zero into dy by dx. So put zero into dy by dx because we're trying to find out when the gradient would be zero. So put, dy, put zero into dy by dx and try and work out when the gradient will be zero. So hang on, x squared times both sides by x squared, x squared times zero, it would be zero. So looking at this, and bearing in mind that this is always above zero, it's always positive and above zero, because e to the power of x looks like this, it would never be negative. So this block here will always be positive, this block here will always be positive, when will the right hand side equal zero? The only time it will equal zero is when x is positive one. That's the only time when the right hand side equals zero. Nowhere else. So we know that um, we know that the gradient will be flat right here. Well if the gradient is flat right there, then the graph must do something like this. Because this hang on, it must do something like this because um, this is the lowest point here. It, um, the, we know that the graph will never do this. Hang on. We know that the graph will, will never do this because, um, because the only time when the gradient is zero is when x equals one. So this is the only place where the gradient is zero. If the graph truly does this, then, then here you, you would expect a gradient to be zero. Here you would expect a gradient to be zero. Here you would expect a gradient to be zero. So we know it doesn't do this thing here. So the, there's only one place where the gradient is zero, and that's right here. So we know the graph will do something like this. Okay, and um, and look at dy by dx. It will give us an insight into what happens on the um, on the ne in the negative realm because the graph could do something like this. Well, we, we know it won't do this because we've just established that um, the only place the gradient is zero is here. But it gives us an insight. So, so let's look what happens when x is in the negative realm. So along, when x is in the negative realm, look what happens. Um, well, when you square a negative number, it will be a positive number. So, so let's, let's imagine at negative 3. So negative 3 squared would be, a, would be positive 9. This is always positive. This is always positive. So let's, if you look at negative three, then the whole thing here will be negative. So when x is negative, this whole dy by dx will always be negative. My, my point is, my point is that if you're in the negative realm, the gradient will always be negative. So what, so what that means is, if um, if you're in the negative realm. The gradient will always be negative, meaning you're always going downhill, 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 downhill. So what that means is, imagine you're here. If you're in the negative realm, if you're in the negative realm only, not over here, because that's positive. If you're in the negative realm only, your your gradient is always going downhill, downhill. So you've got to imagine you're walking along like this. And you're always going downhill, downhill. You will never go uphill. So you're always going downhill, 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 downhill. As it turns out, um, as it turns out, it will look something like this. Hang on. Let me just modify this. It will, it will look something like this. You start here, near zero, and then you're always going downhill, 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 down. Hang on. You're always going downhill, 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 and then you. 
as it tur as it turns out, the downhill here is really steep, but you are going downhill, downhill. So what that means is, you um you walking along here, you're always going downhill, 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 downhill. You will never you will never do this. Okay, so we know this so far. So well, if you're always going downhill, downhill all the time, the graph will look something like this. And then here, the the only time when the gradient is zero is right here, so it must do this. So you know your graph will, must look something like this. Okay, so if you get a graph plot and plot it, it will look like this. And notice that um, if you're wa if you're here and then you're walking towards zero, you're always going. You're always going downhill, 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 and then uh, up here, the only turning point is right at x equals one. This is one here, and then the rest. Oops. Well, anyway, your graph looks like that. Oops. Your graph looks like that. Okay.